Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for still continue watching my videos and supporting to my channel. And please click the notification bell so that you will be alerted when I post a new video. So this episode is an advisory. I'm going to give you 10 reason not to ban the single but married Filipina. You are reminded that this episode is based on my opinion, perspective, experience, and thoughts. I am not a spokesperson for Filipino or the Philippines nation. Please don't think otherwise many filipina are married but their husband has abandoned them and have not communicated or supported to their kids for years this puts the filipina in a non-win situations she cannot marry again nor afford to file an annulment normally her best option is to find a foreigner to fund the annulment and be her lover and future companion. Surprising! There are many foreigners who want to be a hero. And not only bang the married but single Filipina but support her and the kids financially. This is a grave mistake. There are better options available here in the Philippines and the married but single Filipina is the worst one. Here are my 10 reasons why you should not bang the married that single Filipina. Number one, you are putting yourself at risk for adultery case and violation of the Philippines family law, which will result in jail time if discovered. Number two, there is no divorce here in the Philippines, only annulment. And the annulment can take years or more than years and is very expensive. As lawyers will bleed you dry while showing minimum progress. And number three, there is no guarantee if the annulment is successful that she will be faithful to you or marry you. You might have been played for funding the annulment and she has another filipino or foreigner in mind number four there are many other options available such as single filipina and single filipina with kids no bank is that good for you to take the risk and number five she might get pregnant before the annulment is completed and her real husband discover or is informed about her infidelity. She can blackmail or sue you or you have impression. He can even take physical actions against you and not get in trouble. Number six, she could be pregnant and pretend it's your baby. Well, it might be another man's baby, including the husband himself. Cases like this has happened. And number seven, she may have hidden medical issues that she only reveals after you have banged her several times, such as needing a cyst operation or lamp nudes that she claims she never had until you ban her. Remember, lamp nudes 
are in many parts of body, including the neck, armpit, chest, abdomen, and groin. This may be a pre-existing condition that you are convinced to pay for after banging her. Number eight. She might have a chronic infection that requires repeated treatment for months. Once you bump her, you might be accused of giving her the infections. Although it's actually you who will receive the infections from her. And number nine, she might have set you up from the beginning and played you like a fiddle. Her husband might even be in on it. And you are actually part of a scam. Last, the number 10. You need to see a psychologist if you are entertaining the thoughts of being a hero. Before you start banging a married, fat, single Filipina. Because you will be expected to be responsible for her child or kids if the annulment somehow is successful. Some married but single Filipina have one or two kids or maybe more. You can do much better by being patient and proactive on the local dating scene. Now, you might think that the Philippines is full of dishonesty and scammers after this episode or this video. But actually, it's the opposite. The good outnumbers the bad tremendously. You sold your own fate when you decided to ban the married, but single Filipina with kids. Thank you and God bless.